Introducing the Radek Pyrolyzer system. This instrument has been purpose designed for the extraction of volatile radionuclides from both solid and liquid samples. Up to six samples can be run simultaneously under one of ten user-definable programs. These systems are routinely used to extract volatile radionuclides from a range of materials as part of waste characterization in the nuclear decommissioning and related sectors. At the heart of the pyrolyzer system are six silica combustion tubes. Each of these incorporate a plug of platinum alumina catalyst at one end and silica sample boats at the other end. A wide range of sample types can be run, from solids, liquids and even gases. Combustible materials such as plastics, rubber, oil, resins and soft wastes are effectively decomposed and oxidized. In addition, foodstuffs and environmental materials such as biota are also readily decomposed to provide representative samples of tritium and carbon-14 for analysis. To each combustion tube is attached a glass end cap through which flows a supply of carrier gas that transports volatile sample decomposition products towards the catalyst and then the bubblers. The carrier gases can be air, air and oxygen or pure oxygen. The pyrolyzer comprises three independently controlled furnace zones, the catalyst zone, the sample zone and a central thermal isolation zone. A silica liner passes through the three zones to support the combustion tubes and to ensure rapid transfer of radiant thermal energy to the sample. Let's look at a typical sample combustion cycle. During setup, the analyst inserts a sample boat into each combustion tube and positions it in the sample zone of the furnace. It is then a simple matter to make connections to the independently controllable carrier gas lines at one end and the bubbler traps at the other end. The catalyst zone is maintained at 800 degrees Celsius. The analyst selects a desired program and the run begins. Airflow to all tubes is automatically activated and the sample zone is heated according to a predefined heating profile. At this stage, the mid-zone is not actively heated. Between 100 and 200 degrees Celsius, water and some volatile species are liberated. By 200 degrees Celsius, liberation of weakly bound tritium is mostly complete. Between 200 and 900 degrees centigrade, more strongly bound tritium is liberated and carbon compounds start to volatilize. From 300 degrees Celsius, most of the tritium associated with metal oxyhydroxides and water of crystallization has been released and decomposition of organically bound tritium and carbon-14 has begun. In most cases, when the sample zone has reached 500 degrees Celsius, the airflow is automatically changed to oxygen to ensure complete oxidation of the sample. The mid-zone is also powered to ensure rapid heating to 500 degrees Celsius to burn off any condensed organics. The sample zone is now rapidly heated to 900 degrees Celsius to ensure the effective opening out of refractory materials. By 900 degrees Celsius, all tritium and carbon-14 will now have been liberated. All combustion products liberated over the temperature range 50 to 900 degrees Celsius are fully oxidized after passing through the platinum alumina catalyst bed. These oxidized products, tritiated water and carbon-14 labeled carbon dioxide, collect in their own external bubbler traps. At the end of a run, the analyst can decide to rapidly cool the sample and mid-zones by using the integrated forced air cooling system. The Pyrolyzer Trio series of furnaces have been in routine use in radioanalytical laboratories for 20 years. The unique three-zone system allows simultaneous extraction of volatile radionuclides from two, four or six samples. Proven and tested technology. The systems have evolved through rigorous research and publication. Rugged, robust and reliable design. Achieving short downtimes and increased laboratory productivity. Rapid and reproducible extraction capability. This reduces analytical time and increases laboratory throughput. 
simultaneous extraction of volatile radionuclides from up to six samples, permitting use in both low-level decommissioning and environmental applications. Readily adapted to determine radionuclide thermal evolution profiles. This provides insights into the mode of tritium contamination and speciation. Pyrolyzer Trio Systems – versatile, proven, productive, cost-effective. For further information, please see the detailed video and PDF media available for each of our products at www.radec.com. The entire suite of high-definition video media is also available on our YouTube channel. You can contact us directly at sales at radec.com.